it's like so bright. So today we're doing something really fun, really exciting, something that me and Joe have been thinking about for a really long time is adding another fur baby to the family. So Indy is getting a little sister today. We're going to pick up our sweet little corgi puppy and her name is gonna be Honey and we're just so excited. The person we're getting her from is really nice. Gosh, it's really nice. She lives on a farm an uh, hour outside of Austin, so that's where we're driving to. So we'll be there in the next 16 minutes. We're just so, so excited. How about you too? Excited? I'm excited. <laughs> on a farm. It's like heaven, really. Yeah. We're just so excited. Are you tired? I feel like my heart's complete. We're so excited for her to be Indy. I think they're going to get along really well. Yeah. <laughs> She's sleepy. We better take advantage of her nap time. And just head on home. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to we can leave and run away Someday Someday Honey, she is a little, what we think is gonna be a, a red corgi. She's 10 weeks and a day old. Her birthday is 12-12, so she's a Sagittarius. <laughs> and we're very happy with this addition. Last night was the first night with her and she did really good. She whined a bit when she was in her crate, but we we're able to like calm her and she eventually just fell asleep. She did wake up at like four in the morning to use the restroom. She finally woke up at eight in the morning when I woke up to uh, start the day. <laughs> We're just really happy. Look, oh, she's like, hello, <laughs> I wanna play. Uh, Joe and I were thinking about adding another fur baby to the family for a while and we're just really excited that we found somebody who had a litter. We saw Honey online and immediately fell in love. We knew we wanted a little girl, Corky. The ride home was really sweet. We brought the crate just because the lady was like, bring crate, 
bring some towels and napkins and hand sanitizer and everything just because she is like an hour out of Austin that we didn't know how well she was going to be in the car. She started off in the crate for a little bit and then uh, eventually you saw that she was in my lap um, for the rest of the ride home and she did really good uh, on my lap. She just fell asleep. Thankfully I think it was around like you know around noon is when I think she gets sleepy. She has like her nap time <laughs> around noon. From 8 in the morning to noon, she had her breakfast. We went out a couple of times. She was just playing a bunch with Indy. I was trying to do yoga. Yoga with a puppy is an experience. It's not as relaxing, but it's really funny. <laughs> And then she went to the restroom, she made a number two. I'm really happy that she's getting the hang of going outside and she's um, going on puppy pad. Um, she only had one accident yesterday where she went on a little rug, but I think she thought that was a puppy pad. So no negative reinforcement. We're just giving her a lot of good jobs, good girls, treats, and pets whenever she does a good job. Right now she's, I think, about to get her second win, but she's still kind of like, Sleepy. She's teething a lot, so um, the lady gave us some little teething treats that she's been using uh, for her. That's a good brand. We're also gonna go to the store. I think we're gonna freeze some carrots. I've seen people use carrots as uh, like a little treat, but also like it helps numb their gums whenever they're going through their teething teething phase. But she's still really sweet. We love her. I think she bonded to me and Joe really well. I think we're forming a really good connection and I can't wait to see how uh, everything develops. And it's pretty good with other dogs. I don't know if she knows that Honey's here forever. <laughs> she might think we're just like dog sitting or something, but she's just like, okay, there's a dog here, that's fine. But she's gonna go, right? <laughs> They're just getting used to one another and Indy just wants to fetch. It's so funny because Indy was pretty chill in the house. We would fetch like a couple of times throughout the day. I'm really trying to get Honey's like teething under <laughs> control and because she's teething she needs to have something in her mouth like a toy and so Andy thinks that I'm just, we're just like playing fetch. So yesterday we played fetch like a lot and Indy was out of it by the end of the day but I think she's starting to get sibling competitiveness. <laughs> I think it's important to show both dogs the equal amount of love it. it's just a new experience and i'm just super excited to have honey in our lives now we're just really really happy and she's really like affectionate she's really cuddly that's what i we heard about corgis is they have strong personalities but they love you with their whole hearts of course like all dogs but joe really wants a cuddly puppy and honey will do it just fine honey fills that job description <laughs> Yeah, she has this duck, <laughs> and she really likes the, she really likes like the flat, like cloth ones. She has a fox that like crinkles. She really likes that. She's carried one of Joe's socks around, like an old rag around. So she really likes soft, flat things like towels and cloths and stuff. Well, I think this is. Oh, I think this is it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you're liking the videos please like and subscribe i love having you here come along for all the adventures all the book videos and corgi adventures as well love you bye and she's out smells so good. Mindy, I'm so proud.